All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. This is your man, DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. You're listening to WKTJ Reverence Radio. It is November 6th, 2020. And this is what is in your news. Joe Biden has had a pretty impressive last couple of days and even election night. Making his way through... A lot of different states gathering their states and their electoral votes, college votes. And he is currently in the lead in, in in position to become president as we speak. Now, when you listen to this, he might have already won the presidential election. But as of right now, when I, while I'm recording this, he has almost made his way to winning. He's just shy of 270. And on the other side of the race is Donald Trump trying to come up with different ways to ruin the chances of a celebration for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris becoming president and vice president of the United States by way of legal action in almost every state that he cannot lead in. Biden is in the lead in four different key battleground states where they are really close and it's too close to call the race in that state. And Trump is leading in two of those states. And there's six all together. But the main states that people are looking at is Pennsylvania, Nevada, and Arizona. Now, Georgia is very, very close as well. But there will be a recount in Georgia because of how close it is. There will also be a recount in Wisconsin because it is presumed that Joe... Biden had won that state. They did not project him to be a projected winner of that state. They said he is the presumed or pronounced winner of that state. And um, there's a lot of legal, legal action going on now. Recently, judges have cleared up some of the lawsuits and some of the issues that Donald Trump has had with these certain states and he still has an issue Uh, one state said uh, okay we will make sure that each of the party's representatives has at least six feet away from the view of those who are calling the ballots because Donald Trump said they weren't allowed to see what was going on with the ballots and in other states he's saying that there are ballots that are being counted late and there are being counted when they're not supposed to be as in illegal votes or ballots um, when in reality all the ballots have not been even counted even as of Tuesday which was election day and some states weren't even allowed to begin counting the ballots until today So, his gripe and his argument toward a lot of different states and his problem with a lot of what's going on with Joe Biden being the lead or winning is irrelevant and not valid. And he has made many statements that are really making people upset in his own campaign and in his um, GOP campaign. party so it is expected that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will present themselves on prime time tonight uh, around 9 o'clock Arizona or another state is supposed to announce more ballots and that is supposed to put him most likely over the top and if not then he will continue to say what he has said since Tuesday we're going to count all the ballots and until every ballot is counted, we are not 
announcing victory. Unlike Donald Trump, who has announced victory and said that if all the legal ballots are counted, he's going to easily win. And if all the the illegal votes and stuff are counted, then they will try to steal the election, which is not something you say for one. For two, has no merit behind it for him to say that because all the votes that are being counted right now are all legal votes. And if he loses, he will lose fair and square. So, this is just one of those attempts to say, if I don't win, there's a problem. And that's something we used to do as kids, you know what I'm saying? So he has an issue, he's had an issue since he's been in his presidential race run when he lost to somebody else and he wanted to say there was a problem there was cheating going on when he lost and he came out before the election started voting the votes being counted he said it's hard for him to lose it's not easy for him to lose it's not easy for anybody to lose I just want to say that and we're going to move on but Joe Biden is going to be your next president of the United States it's just not yet. It's when all the votes are all said and done, Joe Biden will win. And that's me saying that because it's, it's no way that he cannot be your next president. It's just not going to not happen. So that's who won the race, y'all. If you were wondering and you're not keeping up with politics or anything, you don't watch the news, Joe Biden is going to be your next president of the United States and will be inaugurated on July July, January 20th, 2021. And as far as for the Senate and the House, the House remains Democratic, but the majority is not there. Um, The House was moved around. There are some Republican seats that have been taken over from Democrats in the House, but the majority still remains Democratic. The Senate, there will be runoffs in the Senate. And they have to wait for another election, which is, that's what the runoffs are, another election to see who wins those races because they were so tight and close. And as of right now, if they, if the Democrats win those runoffs, they will get the majority of the Senate as well as the House. And then Joe Biden will also be president and we will have the blue wave that's been talked about for a very long time. So... That is that. Okay? So there's a lot of protesters and everything going on in Nevada and in Arizona and in Georgia. And currently, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are in Delaware. And that's where they will announce or um, speak tonight in front of everyone. All right? Paul Shanley is a priest at Center of Sex Scandal. He is now dead at the age of 89. He was a convicted pedophile, former mass priest, and um, he was in Massachusetts with the sex abuse scandal. Years after ministering to alienated youth in the 1960s and 70s, dozens of men came forward and said Shanley had molested or raped them. He was 89 years old. Mitt Romney scolds Trump for damaging dem- democracy by making claims the election was stolen. 
where he made a lot of different statements that said that the whole system was a fraud. And he's claiming that there's a lot of fraud, voter fraud going on in a lot of different states, just like in Pennsylvania, in Georgia, and Arizona, and Nevada. So Mitt Romney doesn't like that, and he's scolding Trump for that remark. He says he's a reckless. Even Stephen Colbert gave an emotional late night monologue over Trump's election lies. He briefly broke down and said Trump's baseless claims are fraud, cast a dark shadow over the country. Caught him a fastest. Hmm. He told the Republicans they need to choose Donald Trump or the American people. A lot of people are really under his spell, which is really sad. They don't understand why people are upset with him and do not like him. They're just listening to everything he says. There's a lot of people who do not care if he lost. They're going to believe any and everything that he says. So this is just crazy to me. I don't, I don't get it. A lot of people need to decide whether they, you know, are on the right side of their mind. This is the law. Aspirin, seen as potential virus treatment after hospitalized COVID-19 patients take a daily dose. The patients have lower risk of complications and death compared to those who are not taking it. All right, aspirin. All right, I don't know who this guy is. His name is Davon Daquan Bennett, known professionally as King Von, was an American rapper from Chicago, Illinois. He was signed to Little Dirk's record label. The rising Chicago rapper was outside Atlanta Club Friday morning and was shot. He was dead at 26. I have no idea who that is. Philadelphia police investigate bomb threat against Folk Counting Center. There was a man who was arrested. Young man, I think he was 20 years old, arrested outside the center with guns. Outside the voting center. And it has been said that you should not take the results of these races for an answer, there was someone on the news or television screen in Philadelphia saying, demand a recounter, demand they stop the count. And there's just been a lot of unrest. So, Philadelphia police investigated a bomb threat made against the city's convention center. And the police evacuated the area. No devices were found. The GOP is now calling on the Supreme Court 
Supreme Court to step in. Justice Alto temporarily grants Pennsylvania GLP request to enforce segregation of late ballots. So they're going to separate the late ballots and find out if they're legal or not. Biden will deliver a primetime address with victory in sight. So prepare for that. I don't know what time it's going to be, but. And the infection rate has skyrocketed over 100,000 daily. Cases. Oh, Rucker has prostate cancer. Oh, man, this is crazy. That's all for tonight, you are. Cut it short tonight. I will go through all that news, but it's just the same old, same old. The most important thing to know is that Joe Joe Biden will be president very, very soon. Very, very, very soon. The economy added 638,000 jobs in October, and unemployment has sunken to 6.9% in strong show for economy. Not to mention because of everything that's going on with the election, the Wall Street has had nothing but green advances. Packers beat the 49ers last night in Thursday night football. And Just remember that we do have a web page. Shout out to all those on YouTube. Make sure you hit that bell icon to know when we will be posting another video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If this is a great video for you, hit that like button so YouTube will share this video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And make sure you share as well. Get your merchandise on our webpage, www.wixsite.com. Sorry, www.wktj, reverence radio, slash radio page. That's my fault. I'm distracted right now. Make sure you go to the third page. And on the third page is our store page where you can get your merchandise. And um, support the cause, you all. All right, we'll be right back with the song of the week. This is your man, DJ TJ. This is WKTJ Reverence Radio. This is Friday Night Live. It is November the 6th. 2020 we'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> 